Hey quilters, I'm Pam Hiller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's trunk show called Pumpkin Spice Up Applique. Today, Eric and I will be sharing ways to spice up your fall season applique shapes with exciting embroidery and projects. And look, our A's are pumpkins. Huge shout Aren't out to Chelsea. Cute? Thank you, Chelsea. We love All them. things pumpkin today. All things pumpkin. We have so much fall fun planned besides pumpkin graphics for you. We've got trunk show samples galore and exciting giveaways. So without further ado, let's get this pumpkin party started. All right, quilters, it is fall and I love it. It is gorgeous outside it today. Is so nice. It is cool, crisp air, colorful leaves, and the best holiday of the year, Halloween. That's right. And Thanksgiving. There is. And all things pumpkin and pumpkin spice. Now, I always get a little carried away with two things this time of year pumpkins and fall quilts. Uh, luckily, we have dyes for that. We have two great dyes with pumpkins that are just right for the season. They are. I was looking for them over there. Yep. The Go uh, Fall Medley Dye. I'm going to let you hold this one. All right. All right. Yes. And the Go Pumpkins Dye. Yes. All right. Shall we talk about the shapes on it? Let's do. Now, we're going to talk about the Fall Medley in a little bit. Yes. But for right now, let's talk about those pumpkins because I just love it with the three different pumpkins. There's three different sizes and the stems are different. Different shapes. We got the mm -hmm. tall, skinny, the baby, yep. the kind of squatty one. Yes. And I love this size of pumpkins because mm -hmm. they're perfect for scraps. And so many projects as yeah. well. Yep. So since we're talking about applique today and the ways that you can use it to spice up your projects, we want to kick off with reviewing some applique basics. Oh, great idea. All right. Our applique shapes are designed for fusible applique. That means you can iron a fusible to the back of your fabric. So here's the front of my pumpkin fabric. Yes. And I've already pre-fused the fabric or the fusible on the back. Right. I've Rest already ironed it. On. it. Yep. Then you're going to cut the shapes out with the die. So pre-fuse it. Right. Then cut it. Yes. And then you're ready to place your uh, shape on your project. You just peel off that paper batting from the fusible and iron it onto your project. That's right. Well, I think we should sew how slick it really is and cut some of those pumpkins. All right, so what I did was I measured, I'm just gonna cut the center pumpkin. Okay. You could cut all of them if you wanted. Right. Okay. And I just measured from here to here to see how tall it was. And I just made a strip. Now we can always cut up to four layers of pre-fused fabric. And I'm just gonna set it right here in the center. Okay, perfect. And normally, Erica, we would use a six by uh, 12 die because it's on a six by 12 mat. But since I'm just cutting one shape today, yep. I'm just gonna use the smaller mat. And this is a great reminder that only what's covered with fabric and a mat will cut for us. Right. All right, here we go. Now remember, if you've put that fusible on, it's gonna count as a half a layer. So you can cut up to four layers. Yep. Okay, here we go. Look at this. These are so cute. I love them. So cute. So to, to get that fusible off, just fold a corner back, peel the paper backing off, and you're ready to press that down. Yeah. Now, remember we've got all kinds of supplies for you on the website. Mm -hmm. We've got wool mats, we've got irons. We have fusible and different We have fusible, kinds. all kinds of fusible. Yep. But when it comes to finishing the edges, you've got so many options open for you. So you can use a straight stitch just inside the raw edge. Mm -hmm. You could use a decorative stitch from your sewing machine. Right. You could just press it onto your project and quilt over the top. That's Miss Pam's method. I love method. to do that. Or you could um, use an embroidery machine. But how about using the negative space that you make when you cut out a shape? So we've got a little bit of a different technique for using our applique shapes. Okay, and this is a fantastic way to use up all your shapes. You want all to the scraps, yes. yes. So okay. we did this one with the fall medley die. I love the big pumpkin yes. on it, okay. So what I did was I just took a whole bunch of my orange scraps. Yes. And I sewed them together and I pressed them open. Perfect. Okay. And then I kind of subcut it like how big I wanted it to be. Okay. And then I want it to be a little mug rug. So I just made this a six by six square. And you fused the fabric. Yep. And then what I did was I just laid it over 
my pumpkin and remember it's only going to cut where there's fabric in right. a mat. So when I put my little six by six mat down here, I'll show you. I just stopped covering it there. Right. And then it's just going to cut the pumpkin shape and not our little right. pieces. And then watch this. Now I could just lay it over here and look. Isn't that super cute? And because you have the fusible on there, you just have to press it down and it's ready to go. That is such a fun technique. Now, this is a great technique from our friends at Michael Miller Fabric. It's a totally different way to use applique shapes. We love it. We, we saw it on social media and we, we loved it. We just borrowed it right up. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Now, don't forget that we have free embroidery downloads for our non-designer shapes. That's right available in three different stitches. So here's some samples with that great pumpkin die. So here's the satin stitch, the motif stitch, and the blanket stitch. So we'll start from here and I'll let you talk about okay. this one. So blanket stitch is pretty much, I think the standard for mm -hmm. most people you love the blanket stitch. But I do love this little motif stitch. This is um, when I cut spiders out of the Halloween oh. die. Then he looks hairy. But if you're doing it, the cat or a yes. dog or any kind of an animal, it kind of makes them look furry. And flowers, it gives them kind of that technique. Yes. That little extra. And the extra. satin stitch is just a super smooth, very tight stitch. And I love using this for things that are going to get washed a lot. Right. So if you're putting it on tea towels or aprons or oven mitts, or maybe you're putting it on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a sweater, this is great for garments, for anything that like that that's going to get washed a lot. Yep. But we also have some more complex embroidery designs available to purchase that are also so much fun. Now we're going to start off, yep, with the Go Pumpkin There's Purple Number order. 2 embroidery design. Well, we don't want to get off with the graphics because they're so pretty. This one is by V-Stitch Designs, and I just love it. Well, so super fun because you can use, these are the same fabrics, this is different. And what are these called, Erica? Tendrils. Tendrils, the sword of the day. Sword of the use day. it three times. But I love how it stitches out so you can see the shapes of those pumpkins. Yes, I do too. Now, next up, you'll see we've got the Go Pumpkin Double Number 3 Embroidery Designs. This is also by V-Stitch. And again, we've got those little tendrils. We're just pairing up two. Here's a good thing to remember. Yes. You want to make sure you cut your shapes the same way as the embroidery design. Oh, yes, because they these can go really left are left. directional shapes yes. because of how the stems go. Yes. Now, next up, we've got the Go Pumpkin Double Embroidery Number 3 there we design. Go. And this one's got the little one laying down. The next one up we have is the Go Pumpkin Stack Embroidery like Design by lot. V Stitch. You know, kind of like we can stack our farm animals, I now was we can just stack that. our pumpkins. I think that. <laughs> okay. The next one, alike. hands down, is my favorite of this collection. Our good friends at V Stitch, they never disappoint. So here is the pumpkin truck. And it says pumpkin patch on it. This is Pam's pickup truck, which is my favorite of all of our applique <laughs> shapes. But look at this tendrils and then little leaves. But look, Erica, what's in the middle of the wheels? Little bitty pumpkins. Little bitty pumpkins. Isn't this so cute? These stitch made me me a special embroidery. They did. Too. They made an Erica gnome. We have an Erica gnome, but we're not revealing her yet. Oh well, it's super cute. You have to get her on the website first. Yeah. Well, All right. She won't be called Erica Gnome, but we'll call her that. <laughs> we'll keep the pumpkin fun going with some samples. Oh, all right, samples. Okay, so all of today's quilt patterns are available as free downloads on AccuQuilt's website. So be sure to get your patterns downloaded before your dies arrive. That way you're gonna be ready to go. There you go. The right. first project we have is the Bountiful Gift Table Runner by Heidi Primer of the Whimsical Workshop, and she used P and B textiles. And I'm going to hold this because this is super this fun. This is super fun and super long. So look how fun this is. You could use any quilt block you like on yep. the ends. You could use a group of smaller blocks. You could yes. use just the one big 12 inch block. Yes. And then she's just done raw edge applique. She's just on the right over the, side the top. Of the edges. And then she took the fall medley and put the acorns and a leaf in the corners. So too. this is great for all the fall things for October and November through sure. Thanksgiving. I mean, this would be really pretty on a Thanksgiving. It day really table. would be. It really yeah. would be. I love it. Re revisit this sample again. Okay. The next one we've got is the Fall Frolic 
Skinny Pattern by Laura Strickland of Orange Blossom Quilts. So this is the original version that Laura made of this. Isn't this Super pretty? Fun. Super fun, tradition, a little bit more traditional fall colors. Yes. But then hanging behind us there. on the back. I'll go to this one if you wanna to go to this okay. one. So this one is just done in black and whites and gray. And she used that half Ohio star or two thirds of, I guess of an yeah. Ohio star. But this one, again, she did just Raj quilting around, but huge shout out to Heidi Primer because this- oh, This is Laura Strickland. Or Laura Strickland. This is actually tiny little squares sewn together to create that fabric. You piece that gingham. Yeah. Wow. And then she enhanced it with the quilting. Yes. Now this is what she calls her vintage version. So these like are a little a bit more muted colors. And again, the, both of these hit with really popular decor trims. And stripe and binding. Stripe binding. All Hallows Eve, I think, on this one, a lot of those fabrics. Mm -hmm. Really ah, fun. So fun. So the next one up we have is another table runner. It's a good thing the Gibney is not here. None of these would remain. All. That's right. So this is the Go Pick of the Patch table runner. And you may recognize a little bit of those pumpkins coming back again. But don't you love the fabric that looks like wicker baskets? I do. It's just so seasonal. It really just screams Thanksgiving to me. It does. But we've got another version Here, wait, of we it. gotta show you the fabric on the back. Oh, okay. Let's look at how fun that is. Very Thanksgiving. But here's kind of a Halloween-y version of it. Halloween-y. halloween -y version. So we don't have as the um, more complex embroidery, but we've got very Halloween-like fabrics on the yes. back of it. Changes the whole look of it, doesn't it? It does, it does. Jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, so cute. Okay, next up is an all-time favorite. I think of both of ours. Oh yeah, here I'm gonna hold so this So this is a truck for, uh, for all seasons. This is by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She's used Maywood fabric, and you can see our fall season right down here with the tan fabric and the pickup's got a pumpkin in the back of it. And you could totally use the new embroidery pumpkin patch. Oh, you sure could. Okay. Terry made that, I love it. I love it. Well, quilters, earlier you saw the Go Pumpkins Die in action. So naturally, it's time to pumpkin spice this show up by giving one away to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show. Our giveaways are just one way we'd like to thank our AccuQuilt community for registering and watching our live events. All righty. The lucky winner of a Go Pumpkins die is, drum roll please. It's Nora B. from Olympia, Washington. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Oh, have so much fun with that. All right, Quilter, today's show is all about applique and embroidery. With that in mind, we want to know, do you own an embroidery machine? Erica has one at home, and we have a baby lock here in the studio. That's right. Is your answer yes, no, not yet, but I so want one. That was me for a really long time. <laughs> if you're watching by the registration link or on YouTube, you can click the vote box that is below or to the right of our chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote on the box that displays over the video. Now, in, just in case you're wondering, you can cut all kinds of material with our applique oh. dies, not just cotton. If you're a fan of working with wool, our dies cut it beautifully and it adds great texture and dimensions to projects. It'd be great with these fall things. Yes. So you can really find some amazing wools out there. And we saw some in Des Moines at the AQS show, didn't we? We did, we did. Yeah. All right, but there are other materials as well, like cork and felt and craft foam and more. With thicker materials, you wanna make sure you just start with one layer. Oh yeah, that's this is an a, important tip. This is the time of the year that we let, I let Oakley, my granddaughter, just cut as many pumpkins and bats and Halloween yep, things out yep. of cork, yep. out of craft foam as she wants. That's right. Now for many of us, fall just isn't fall without a pumpkin spice latte in our hand. So putting one on your fall projects with our Go Coffee and Tea Medley Seems only natural, right? It does, all right. So here is that die. Erica, what does it have a blue back? Well, because it originally came out to us as a limited edition die. Ah, so if you don't have one yet, here's this, this is the coffee tea medley. It's on a six by 20 or six by 12 die board. It's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including the Go Me. Now, it has the coffee mug to travel mug. Right. And what is this? That That's I can't little, remember what it's called. A little paper sleeve. Oh, the sleeve. Yep. Sleeve. And here's the uh, the top, so your yes. coffee doesn't spill out. And then here is our teacup and saucer. 
and the handle cuts out. You can you can't see it really well, but that's where it cuts out the handle. And you'll see us using this little cutout piece later as steam coming out of the cup. Good job, Justin. Look at that. Look at that. You can't see those blades. I know. Of course, we have free downloadable embroidery for this die as well, but we also have some super fun designs from V-Stitch that you can purchase, including some brand new ones. So we're going to kick it off with the Go Coffee Set embroidery by V-Stitch, and this is new. Watch this. All these different coffee cups. So some of them have little saucers. This one's got hearts. This one has the star. Love this for winter cocoa with the snowflake. This one's super fun this for a like holiday. This is like a party in a cup. This was actually my favorite one <laughs> because it has the marshmallows. Yes. Yes. And then this one is just pretty. And it's got steam like a little heart. Yes, and it has a little lace, like it's pretty for a tea party or something. Yes. Look at how cute this is. But in my quilting head, I thought, oh, this is like melting like the marshmallows melt. This is just the saucer. That's the saucer. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She, she thought it was a little... I, like a little Frankenstein monster. <laughs> I'm all about she's the Halloween. So, she's so Halloween. All right. All right. So the next one that we've got is our Go Coffee and Tea Medley 2 embroidery. And this is also by V-Stitch Designs. And there are some really fun ones in here. Am I getting these? Yes, let's get these. Out. Okay. <laughs> there is a little discussion about it. Um, embroidery designs earlier. Well, okay. I took away the ones that weren't in the show so we wouldn't get confused. Okay, there we go. So, oh. how much okay. do you love this one? Here's our, our witchy to go it cup. It is the witchy to go cup with the spider. With the spider sitting on top. And so a hot cocoa with the hot. cherry on top. And whipped cream because you mm -hmm. have to have whipped cream. Yes, yes. From all the love coming from your hearts. I know, and this one's fun because it's kind of tipped. Yeah. And then cocoa and tea. Yes. For all you tea drinkers. Yes. And stacking them all up. Because we're stacking everything today. We're stacking our pumpkins. We're stacking our cups. We're stacking it all. We're just stacking. I love these. Good job to V-Stitch. <laughs> They're such good, good friends of ours. Now we have another brand new one that I'm super excited about. Okay, you ready? Okay. Maybe um, you're a fan of hot chocolate like me. No, no. No. Oh, wait. wait. Sorry. This is it. This is it. Shoo. Pumpkin Spice To Go Embroidery by V-Stitch Designs. Hold your horses there. We have so many cool we have embroidery so many. designs. We're so excited we can't stand it. So here's our pumpkin spice and the little Isn't that leaves. So it's cute. so sweet. I love the leaves. Okay. I love it. But maybe you're not fan you're a fan of hot chocolate like me. I don't drink coffee. But one of the favorite of the next season coming up. So we have my favorite Halloween, but after that, this is are you ready? The peppermint mocha. Embroidered designs by our good friends at Isn't that cute? Peppermint candies. Candy cane, and this is like dotted, like dotted fabric. Yeah. So yeah. cute. Yeah. So cute. And this stitch looks almost like a little tree. I mean, it's just to die I, for. Just amazing. Okay. All right. And who better to serve up your favorite coffee or tea beverage than your favorite barista? Well, we met our favorite little barista. Here he is. It's Go Barista Joe Gnome Embroidery by V Stitch Designs. <laughs> That's so awesome. Isn't that awesome. cute? So awesome. And we name him uh, Barista Joe after Producer Joe. That's right. And I just think it's darling because there truly now is a gnome for all seasons. That's right. All occasions. That's v Stitch right. comes up with them all the time. Um, and the little coffee shop. Look little how cute that is. Little coffee shop, a little apron. You can see yep. his little apron tie. There you Super go. Super cute. Little stash. I love it. All right. Well, I couldn't agree more that he is just the cutest little thing. So let's celebrate this occasion with some more great quilt patterns and projects, starting with the Go Coffee Kitchen Essentials by Marianne Fontana. Wait till you see this. This is a whole okay. collection. This whole would be collection. such a great gift, like a hostess gift. So we've got a really fun oven mitt made with the oven mitt dye, but right. look at these towel, tea towels that she's They have done. donut fabric. They have donut, it is, and everybody needs donut fabric in their life. I, I do, think. and look at how fun this is. And she just did a blanket stitch along the edge mm -hmm. to just keep it um, straight, but fun towels, and then she matched it here with the oven mitt. It's so cool. I just think it's a great, clever um, hostess gift. It really so you is. you can totally do an oven mitt and a tea towel with pumpkin designs if you're going somewhere oh, for sure. Thanksgiving yeah. and you want to bring a little gift. Or put that pumpkin spice latte on there. 
There you go, Barista Joe. Barista Joe. All right, next up, we've got the Go Cafe wall hanging and matching pot holders. Again, these are by Marianne Fontana. Look We've at how used, fun these are. Oh, so cute. The classic alphabet, two inch, is used on that one. These would just be so fun in the kitchen. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. And the pot holders are pot great. holders, and they're double-sided, and they've got little pockets in them. They're really fun. Oh, I didn't see they had pockets yeah, in them. pockets. Oh, way to go, Marianne. All right. So the next up is one of my favorite all-time ones. It's the Brew Crew Table Topper. This pattern is by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She's used Maywood Fabrics. And it's or Michael Miller. Michael Miller me. Fairy Dust. It's yes. so cute. Yes, look at that. Fairy Frost. And we've got the cups. It just shimmers. I love the fabrics. Yep. And it's made with a cube, a 12-inch cube, and so easy to put together. So mm -hmm. you really could change up the colorway, use our Go Quilt oh, program. Yeah change up the colorway. All the seasons. Yep. All right, and you can't have a hot drink without a hot drink mug rug. I have not seen this until this morning. Yeah, this one's by Bea Lee of Bea Quilter. And she's used the, the cup from the coffee and tea medley and she's pieced the little border there. And yep, that's the steam out of the handle that we talked about. Makes steam. You could totally make a stack of these in no time. Oh, you could. Those would be great teacher gifts. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking that. That'd yeah. be great for te teacher gifts. Or at Christmas time, you could have them on people's plates yeah, to take home. A little uh, coffee shop gift card. Oh, there you go. Roll it up inside a mug. She's <laughs> already there. Of ideas. Quilters are good friends. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I just realized what part of the show that this is. time, and we're going to have to okay. actually give up this said. fabric. Sometimes producer Joe says... I have to be a little less excited about the fabric. <laughs> this is that day. There are no messes that are Halloween-y, which and is- gnomes, oh. and kitty gnomes, and candy corn. And candy corn, which is only good with peanuts. Right. And jack-o'-lanterns. But look at this, puppy dog gnomes. And purple. Purple and dots, but stripes. Stripes. Stripes yeah. for binding. So basically all the things that Pam and I need for Halloween Quilty Happiness are right here. And two of you registered viewers get to win it. Yes. All right, the lucky winner of a Northcott fabric selection is, drum roll please. Sandra H. of Salisbury, Tennessee, congratulations. congratulations. I almost said Pam H. of Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> And the second lucky winner of a selection of fabric is, drum roll please. It's Paige M. from Fast Town, North Carolina. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, we're going to take these right away because Brock's going to get them and He's send gonna them. going to take them away from us and send them away. Thank you to Northcott Fabric for sponsoring today's show with such fun, fun yeah. fabrics. We know our quilters will love spicing up their projects and quilts with this fabric. All right, quilters, early we asked you, do you own an embroidery machine? The answer is yes, no, or not yet, but I really, 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 really want one. If you're watching by the registering through YouTube, you can click the vote box that is below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote from the box that displays over the video. All of today's great fall patterns really have my quilting head spinning. And when we were getting ready for the show, we knew that we just had to talk about pumpkins, one of which is included on our fall medley die. Yes. Now I'm going to Going back it. and forth with the fall medley die because we've used it so much. Okay. So the, again, it's on a six by 12 die board. It's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including that Go Me. And it has a nice big pumpkin, two different kinds of leaves, and an acorn with a little top. I know. and. I would never cut any of these by hand. This die is just perfect for making fall home decor projects like garlands and table runners, placemats, even decorating pre-made pre tablecloths. I think it's just fabulous. Yeah, you can do so much with it. Yeah. All now, right. Another die that just screams fall for me is one of my favorite bobs or block on board dies. It's the Go Maple Leaf die. I had to think about what that yeah. was. We have so many, <laughs> so many great bob dies. So many worked up about it. Okay. Now this is great. It makes an eight inch finished block, right? Mm -hmm. It does. Um, out of a nine patch, which is kind of a cool little thing. But the best part is it has some great features. This little stem. Yes. Because when you're trying to make a maple leaf, it's really hard to do the little stem. And you waste a lot of fabric. Yeah. The other way. Yeah. 
So it would really be difficult with that standard flip method mm -hmm. and cut to get that little skinny one, mm -hmm. okay? All right, but we're gonna lay some fabric down. And gosh, I hope I got all the right pieces. I was, I was cutting fabric earlier. Yeah, have you con confuzzled earlier? No, I would just, we're just so fun, okay? And it's on um, a six by 24 die board. So many of our Bob dies now. Yes. Our new Whirling Star, yeah. um, all of them, six by 24. You can use them on all of the cutter. We're gonna use our Go Big because we can. Yes, <laughs> it's right here for us. Yes. All right, so we're gonna get this cut and we're gonna show you how it kind of goes together real quick. This is a super beginner friendly die. Um, it's just really quick and easy. It's fun, it's a classic. And like Pam said, it is so fun because these are shapes. Okay, let's get that our, You're not gonna find anywhere else. You're not gonna else. find other places, that's right. Okay. So, of course, you've got your We've got our, oh, so many threads. Yesterday when I was sewing, I had tons of threads. Tons of threads. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, now I purposely um, cut those together so you can sew them together, which is oh, our big trick. Which, and I'm laying them out though, so I, I, know. I just it's ruined okay. your whole spiel. She did, but it's okay, I like her. But look, those dog ears are cut off so that we can place them right together. All right, and there's yep. one more right there, yep. right? Yep, and then you've got three that are gonna combine to do your oh, center. Look at me cutting oh. all the right pieces. Yes, you did. Did I not get that all the way no, over there? No, you didn't. Okay, but, but here okay. we go. Okay, ready? It's this part we wanna talk about. Yes. So these are different, okay? So I'm gonna sh yes. just move them here. These are different. Yes. Because in your quilting head, you think those are the same this, size. They are not. Au contraire. Au contraire. But when you line it up here with the dog ears. It's going to line up just perfectly. You're going to sew that quarter inch seam allowance. And when you press it open, it's going to be that perfect stem block. Yes. And, and how easy is that? It's just a basic yeah. nine patch. Super great for chain piecing. Gives you that fun little stem piece. Yeah. And you'll have it in no time at all. I love it. All right, and like I said, it's it's a nine patch that finishes to eight inches, so it's math that we can avoid doing and shapes that you're not gonna find in your cube, right? Oh, very much so. And this is adding some different sizes, like we said, that don't live in the cube, but wait till you see the next trunk show segment. That's I right, meant. you are so right. But you dreamed up a fun little project recently with your cube, didn't you? I did. So last week, I made a bat yes. out of my five inch cube. So this week I'm gonna, I made a jack-o'-lantern. Isn't that cute? And he's purple for Erica and he's yes. purple because he matches the bat and yes. the other um, blocks that I've done out of these Halloween colors. Super adorable. So super cute. Now this is really important to realize. So I used my five inch cube. Mm -hmm. I used the smaller elements shape two and five, okay. the square and half square triangle. So this finished on an eight by eight grid to a 10 inch block. Very cool. Okay, so sometimes you think, oh yeah, my five inch cube will make 10 inch blocks. And you usually think of those larger mm -hmm. elements, mm -hmm. which is true. Right. But I use the smaller ones to make my little jack liner. And you made a stem too. I did. Half square triangles for days. Wonderful. You're well on your way to a sampler quilt. All right. Yes. Well, speaking of samples, I think we should show off some more. Oh, let's do. Okay. So let's see. What do we have? Oh, the, here is the Go Maple Leaf Table Runner pattern. Here we go. All right. So this one is, Erica made this one. I did. I um, did. This is a great pattern that uses just four of those maple leaves. So okay. we've got groups of four, and then they're broken apart with the, the sashing, sashing and the cornerstone. But this is a super scrappy friendly pattern. Um, we've used two different colors in these maple leaves. A little grunge in there. A little grunge in there, a little speckle, but you could totally go in with all of your fall scraps and make these. Yes. And we say this all the time. Oh, look how pretty the back is. It is pretty. We say this all the time. It, start with the table runner. Mm -hmm. And this is a great season for table runners because it really is. you have Halloween and you have uh, Thanksgiving and you just have all of that fun uh, table runner 
themes. Now speaking about fun, here's a totally different look for that maple leaf. This is the Go Maple Leaf Sunflower Throw Quilt Pattern by Ellen Alt of Handmade 3D. Look how fun this is. This is the same grouping of four maple leaf blocks, but Ellen has set them on point and she doesn't have the sashing that we just saw in the table runner. And look what a difference it makes. Just different, completely different. You would never mm -hmm. think it was the same thing. No. She's used partial blocks. It's really very clever. And look at that beautiful orange. Wonderful. Next up, we've got a Go Cube 10 inch fall table runner pattern. Okay, whenever I see this, I think you could use any size cube. You could make you could. it as long as you wanted and you should totally make it in Halloween colors. But here's the fun thing that we've done in here. This is a little basket full of acorns. That basket is from the spring medley. So yes. look at the shapes on your dies. Don't get hung up with what they're called because there's right. nothing to say that you can't use that spring medley basket all year round for things. Well, for example, the summer medley has a shovel which you could totally use in winter. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'm loving all these table runners. Speaking of clever, next up is the Go Pumpkin Spice Latte Throw Quilt by Terry Vandenbosch. And Miss um, Erica made this one and as I well. I did, and this one is super fun because it's all, it, it goes so quick, it goes so easy. We've used our maple leaf die, but you know what? We use the same shapes on that maple leaf die to make the Friendship Star box. And again, it's a nine patch that's finishing at eight inches. And a huge shout out to our good friend, Christina Morrow for quilting it. For yes, thank you, Christina. And then I cut the eight inch finished squares and applique on them. And it's that simple, really quick, fun fall pattern. I love it. So many fun fall things. So many things. It's a good thing that it's only 60 degrees outside That's today. right. All the patterns we've shown you today are available as downloads at Accu on the AccuQuilt website. Be sure to get your patterns downloaded before your die arrives and now that the weather has turned. So That's you'll right. be all ready to go. That's right. Now, Quilters Voting has now closed and we are about to announce the results. But first, I think it's time we should give away our final prize of oh, the day. I think we should. All right, the lucky winner of the Go Pumpkin die is, drum roll please. Jan B of Akron, Ohio. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're gonna love the pumpkins. Oh, you will. All right, do you think you know the answer to the... the I don't the, know, okay. I don't know. Early in the show we asked, do you own an embroidery machine? The choices were yes, mm -hmm. no, not yet, but I want one. So I think the answer, I feel like so many of our quilters own embroidery machines, uh -huh. but I think the most popular answer is not yet, but I wanna get one. Okay, well, let's, let's see. see what Joe has to say. The team's counted up all of the votes and it's time to announce the winning response. Now we need a drum roll. Yes, yes. is the answer. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome. Good job. Congratulations, embroidery machines. So that's wonderful to know. So think about all of the great applique shapes that we have and if you aren't an embroidery machine, Holy smokes. You know, it's just, we, we say it all the time, but seriously, we are coming up on gift giving season, yes. right? Yes. So any time of the year though, if you're going to somebody's house for dinner or if you need a shower gift or whatever, right? You, they're so, they make you look so good quilters. Right. They so make you look really little good. Little effort there like is. Very little effort, yeah. yeah. All right, so be sure to join me again tomorrow for AccuQuilt Live. Now it's gonna be a little batty show. So batty. those blocks that I've been making, um, we're gonna show you how to do quilt as you go method. Okay. Because I feel like a lot of our viewers have, you know, domestic, obviously have a domestic machine right. and maybe have not done that. Right. And we're gonna do it without sashing, but I'm gonna talk about how you could add it to sashing. But it's really cool. gonna be a great show. Uh, register on the event page for the chance to win a prize. I hope to see you there. That's right. And don't forget to join us next week on Tuesday, October 4th. It's at 12 noon central time for a launch party called Get Ahead of the Holiday Curve. We will be reviewing, revealing and showing off the October, I can't believe it's October, Die to Try, which shall we just say is a beauty. Yes. And don't forget to register for the show and all other upcoming events on the event page on the AccuQuilt website. I would never make October's Die to Try oh. block without 
a die. Neither would I, and I had Never. admired it for years, but it would not happen no, without the dye to cut it out. Yeah. So mull on that for a while. Mm -hmm. Now next month, we are beginning, this is so exciting, our very first Sew Along series. Everyone has asked. For yes. a year yes. they've asked. And so now, now we're, we're gonna, gonna do it. We are. We are gonna make a bed runner that can be customized for any season. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna go over some basic skills. Yes. We're gonna do embellishing. We're gonna have all kinds of fun and snacks. Snacks so. for sure. And we're gonna, we have one show just dedicated of this is what we're right. gonna do. Here's the pattern, here's the supply list. And then we're gonna just go step by step of making this amazing. Three Fridays, so be sure you Three register Fridays. because there are going to be giveaways. Such good giveaways. Mm -hmm. Now, quilters, today's been all about applique and embroidery. And as a special offer, we're going to give you 20% off embroidery downloads to help you get started embellishing your projects. To get your order in, type in accuquilt.com slash party to go to the browser. It'll take you right to the site so you can start shopping. Now, remember, you can quilt now and pay later. Get your financing today at accuquilt.com slash financing. Okay, so Erica, in addition to the dyes that we saw today, because yes. we talked about the pumpkins right. and the maple leaf, tell me some other dyes that you would use this time of the year, those fall years, besides cat and bad. And cat and bad, of course, the Halloween, Halloween medley, medley mm -hmm. and the maple leaf dye. We have so many leaf dyes as we well do. that we have do. different kinds of leaves. Stems and leaves has mm -hmm. different ones. Right. And really, any Anything can be made to go with this time of year. It's right. all about changing up your colors, changing up your fabrics. Right. Um, you know, changing up just like we looked at with the two different, three different oh, versions the of the fall skinnies. You can do so much with fabric, with color, with different things. Who's to say you can't have a go crossroads dye project? Right in fall colors. Well, and we talked about it the other day. Um, I made a tangled star block for mm -hmm. Halloween, mm -hmm. and I've seen so many people posting tangled star blocks that they've made out of Halloween colors or fall colors. So think about those bobs. Um, we have a great program called Go Quilt. It's a free program yeah. on our website. It has a tutorial. It allows you to change the colorway of thousands of patterns. And let's face it, the Go Glorified Nine Patch goes well with almost everything. It's her favorite. It's my favorite. All right, it is time for us to go and so I get some, ready for our sew along. We have so many things to do for our sew along. We hope you've enjoyed today's fall projects and ideas to help spice up your seasonal projects. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, if you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is the time. Here's your link. Get everything you need while it is still available for you. And don't forget those embroidery files on sale 20% off yep. on our website. All right, we are here to remind you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt and embroider more. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>